Welcome dear students to one of the most interesting uh, uh, I mean one of the first vi first video dealing with one of the most uh, interesting and important uh, topics in plant morphology that's about fruits so basically fruits so uh, they are looking at the development of ovary along with the ovule ovule of course uh, which later become the seeds so uh, fruits the first classification the most important classification is uh, eucarp which means true fruit basically it means that it's developing from the ovary and uh, the ovules so in the sense that ovules later become the seeds the ovary becomes the other fruit part so uh, as that is a structure which is meant to form the fruit uh, such a standard basic development is what is called eucarp and uh, note the point that uh, the wall of the ovary uh, that is uh, it later becomes the pericarp now the second division is uh, the kind of division where uh, along with the ovary other parts of the flower other floral parts also develop or, or becomes parts of the fruit that's what is called a uh, false fruit and uh, uh, the technical term is uh, pseudocarp and when which uh, so as I already told when other floral parts along with the ovary and the ovule is involved in fruit formation uh, we call it a false fruit um, or a pseudocarp uh, it can also be called a accessory fruit in the sense that uh, other floral parts are involved so that's a key point so it's it's not that um, the ovary uh, with the ovules alone, alone is involved other floral parts are also taking part in the fruit formation that's why it's called a uh, false fruit and an interesting feature as far as a false fruit is concerned is that uh, there is a fusion with the pericarp uh, and the sense that uh, the pericarp fuses with the uh, uh, other parts other uh, parts of the uh, floral organs which uh, develop uh, so so it's the pericarp is not uh, free as such that's the part and important examples are apple mulberry and strawberry and there's a very interesting special type of fruit development which is called uh, parthenocarp and, uh, and the fruit is called parthenocarp and the process of course is called parthenocarpy uh, basically, uh, it denotes uh, the development of uh, fruits uh, without fertilization. So, uh, which means that the seeds, are, the seeds may not be there, the seeds are sterile, things like that. So, when fruits develop without fertilization, uh, we call such a fruit a parthenocarp and the process is called parthenocarpy. A very famous example is banana. Now, uh, going on, let's look at um, the type of fruits, uh, fruit development based, off the, based on the kind of flowers which are getting in mode. Naturally, flower is a reproductive organ of uh, angiosperms and we know that there's a huge range in the type of flowers. So, based on the, on the, on the kind of flowers which are involved in uh, fruit development, there could be differences. The first, uh, uh, key category is what is called a simple fruit uh, it's also called a single or uh, I mean that's a case in which uh, a single or compound ovary is developing to form a fruit and of course uh, the opposite case is a composite uh, fruit or a multiple fruit which simply means that we aren't dealing with a uh, single ovary so there could be many ovary parts in mold now going on further, simple fruits are again div divided into uh, dry fruits and um, of course fleshy fruits. Dry fruits, so what it basically means is the pericarp is dry and succulent or uh, uh, fleshy fruits, fleshy fruits in the sense that it's a pericarp uh, which becomes fleshy. So this is the, div this is the division of the simple fruits and Interestingly, dry fruits once again is uh, subdivided into uh, three categories. The first one is achenial, 
Achenial uh, basically means uh, it's uh, that the fruit is single seeded and indehiscent. So that's the uh, importance of achenial. Uh, the second division, the second subdivision of uh, dry fruits is uh, capsula. Here uh, we have many seeds and uh, it's dehiscent. And the third case is uh, schizocarpic. And uh, schizocarpic, once again, it's uh, many seeded. Uh, but interestingly, even though it's many seeded, uh, the fruit breaks into parts uh, which, which, which are, are single seeded. That's, that's the interesting part. So the fruit uh, breaks uh, when it becomes ripe to single seeded parts. So uh, going on to uh, the last part of this introduction to what exactly is a fruit and what are the major uh, divisions into which fruits are classified. An important point we have to look at is uh, what is the key difference between uh, fleshy and dry fruits. Now this, this is uh, taken uh, separately as it's uh, very important in the examination point of view. So fleshy basically means that the fruit wall, that is a pericarp, uh, is succulent or fleshy. Fleshy means that, of course, uh, it indicates that it's edible. It's not uh, very uh, tough skin. Uh, so that's the meaning of it. So the fruit wall or a pericarp is fleshy. But in dry fruits, the fruit wall is dry. Uh, it could be something like a papery. Another very important division between these two categories is that a uh, fleshy uh, fruit wall has three layers that is from the outside to the inside the layers are epicarp mesocarp and endocarp so so these are the three layers from the outside to the inside so the innermost layer is endocarp uh, these three layers are very important as far as the examination point of view is concerned for dry fruits so uh, Interestingly, there is no such differentiation of the pericarp into uh, three parts. So not epicarp, mesocarp and endocarp uh, related to the fruits which we will discuss later. It's very important in the examination point of view. Uh, going on in the uh, video series, in this particular video series dealing with the uh, uh, morphological features of fruits will be Next, looking at a very important category of fruits that is the succulent or fleshy fruits. So, we'll be looking at the key features as well as some very famous cases and uh, what are the peculiar peculiarities of those uh, important uh, examples. So, that's uh, that will be the next video. The next video is dealing with succulent fruits. And um, thanks for uh, watching. And uh, if you have, if you like. Uh, if you feel the video is so interesting and nice, uh, please subscribe uh, to this particular channel.